let us pray. Father, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son you have given to the human race, I pray as I'm commencing the ministration today, O oh Lord, take absolute control in your precious name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The scripture tells this telecast will be taken from the book of uh, St. Mark, the second chapter, King James Fashion of the Holy Bible. I read from two to five and uh, others consequently. Mark 2, 2 to 5. And again, he entered into Capernaum after some days. And it was noise that he was in the house. And straight away, many were gathered together, inasmuch that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much that's about the door. And he praised the world unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come near unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken in, they laid down the bed where in the sick of the past lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto Jesus of past, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. We take from the book of Mark of St. James Fashion. We now read from verse 4. And there came a leper to him, besieging him, and kneeling down to him, and say unto him, You dare we, thou canst make me clean. 41. And Jesus moved with compassion, put for his hand, and touched him, and said unto him, I will. Be thou clean. For two, as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was clean. And he straightway charged him, and forthwith sent him away, and said unto him, See thou say nothing to any man, but go in their way, show thyself to the priest, and offer for their cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. Now we read Mark, a chapter, same King James Fashion. When he come to buy cider, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the end and laid him out of the town. And when he had speak on his eyes and put his hand upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hand upon his eyes and made him look up. And he was restored and saw everything man clearly. And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in the town. Now we read Mark, the seventh chapter, same King James Fashion of the Holy Bible. And again, departing from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, he came unto the sea of Galilee, through the midst of the coast of the Capolis. And they bring unto him one that was deaf and had an impediment in his speech, and they besought him to put his hand upon him. And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers onto his ears and he spit and tossed his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he signed and said unto him, A fatter that is be opened. And straight away his eyes were opened, and the string of his tongue was loose, and he spake again. Now we read from the book of St. Mark, 
the sixth chapter of the King same chapter, chapter of the Holy Bible. And when he had passed over, they came into the land of Jezanerite and drew to the shore. And when they were come out of the ship straight away, they knew him and ran through that whole region, ran about and began to carry about in bears so that were sick where they had he was. And whichever he entered into villages or cities or country, they laid the sick in the streets and besought him that they might touch of it were but the border of his garment, as many as touched him were made whole. Now we read the last reading, Mark, the seventh chapter of the same King James Version of the Holy Bible. 24. And from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon, and entered into an house, and who have no man know it, but he could not be hid. For a certain woman, whose younger daughter had an unclean spirit, heard of him, and came, and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a central Phoenician by nation, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be fed, for it is not meant to take the children's bread and to cast it under the dogs, unto dogs. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's scrubs. And he said unto her, For this say, Go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil has gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. This was the miraculous work that was performed by Jesus Christ while he was here on his mission to the earth. Let us pray. Lord, each and every of ages, one more time, we pray, O oh Lord, to take absolute control of the administration. O oh Lord, for the viewers, let them be blessed and the hearer be blessed too. O oh Lord, we know that with your things are possible. You are the God who changes now. Lord Jesus, let your power, your anointing flow all over the globe. We hear that we hear this ministration. And let everybody who is sick be healed. Anybody in bandage be loose. Let everything work well for each and every one of us. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, on the aspect of the ministration part of this telecast, we have a team here. The title is Prayer is the Key. Prayer is the Key. Why prayer is the key? I will take illustration from uh, our Lord Jesus Christ who came to this sinful world for a great uh, commission that uh, he came for, which he performed brilliantly and uh, he overcame and prevailed over all odds and satisfied the will of the Father, God Almighty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ was based on prayer. On prayer. Despite that Christ has the power to do things because he was born of the Holy Spirit. Yet, he has to undergo. He undergone different series of uh, earthly activities because he came to redeem us back to the Garden of Eden where our forefathers, Adam and Eve, has already polluted with what they called hitting of the forbidden fruit. Praise the Lord. After John the Baptist baptized Jesus, he proceeded to the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. 
that was recorded in the biblical history. Guess what happened? After that, the miracles upon miracles took place. Not that I could not perform miracles before going to the wilderness, but it was so in examples for the followers to emulate, who will be in the same position by the time he might have left. And this is what is, what is happening right now for the true servants of God Almighty. Christ has no other business when he was here than the gospel business. The gospel assignment, he performed it brilliantly and diligently until he ascended unto Father in heaven, the God Almighty. Praise the Lord. What happened now? Something happened at Capernaum during his ministry. I'm talking about uh, miracles through prayer. Prayer assists miracles to emerge. And through prayer, something spectacular happens. Praise the Lord. In Capernaum, something happened there. If you follow my reading, when Jesus started his ministry and the miracle has been coming from all knocks and corners of where he was uh, dwelling at that particular time, it was spreading all over. Then it happened that there was a man, lame and could not walk, not, he has to be carried up. So they have to make a mobile bed for him. And multitude were so numerous. In this aspect, it came to their senses that let us do something on Uyua. What did they do? They have to stage where Jesus was staying, just like I'm saying here. I'm not Jesus, I'm just saying example. Then they licked the roof and they lowered the man right in front of Jesus. It was a spectacular something. Not that they were trying to embarrass Jesus, but they were just saying that they knew quite to right that Jesus is the healer, and he could heal him. And this is what happened. The man was healed. Because of their faith, Jesus instantly healed that man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can get that one in the book of Mark 2. Uh, you get it from uh, 2 to 25. Then praise the Lord. Then supernatural happened again to a leper. A leper man. If you go to the book of Mark 40 to 44, you can read on your own. He came to Jesus who was begging a leper, please help me. And Jesus looked at him. He said, be clean on the spot. Because Jesus is the man of uh, the world. The world we seal. He said, it's what we not go out from him without accomplishing what he is supposed to. It accomplishes on this man, a leper. The man was clean right away. Listen to this. Something happened in, at Bethsaida. Apart from the one from the pool of Bethsaida, there was another blind man there who was seeking for the healing from Jesus. And what happened? This man called on Jesus is to help him. And Jesus restores his eyes instantly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our spiritual eye God will open in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, something happened miraculously again at uh, Decapolis. Decapolis is under town entirely, in the midst of Decapolis. So Jesus Christ went there. There was a man who was deaf and dumb. You know, this could not speak, could not hear. You can see the situation. It's complicated, you know, in the physical aspect of the body of that very man at that juncture. And he came to Jesus, hearing that Jesus could do it. And Jesus came to him, and Jesus perform the divine healing and the man was healed. Praise the Lord. Uh, this deep man, Jesus used the Hebrew word to perform the miracle. The Hebrew was Ephata, behopu. That is, immediately Jesus pronounced Ephata. The ear was just open. I was able to speak. You, that's it. How much could somebody buy that miracle? Spending, but with instant power of Jesus, Miracle took place. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, in uh, Jesus and Nerit, there was another spectacular miracle that happened there. You can get this one in Mark 6, read from 53 to 56. That of Gethsemane. Somebody was here, 
And there are many people who are in at this juncture, not only one, because when Jesus Christ has been performing these miracles, the fame has gone all around. So in this situation, people are bringing people who are with afflictions of different dimensions towards Jesus' direction. And they were putting them on the street. They were just allowing Jesus to pass through them, and the anointing will be spreading on there, automatic miracle. And this happened. It happened because Jesus went there, and many people were there, and Jesus was there, and Jesus, anyone that had contact with Jesus at that particular period of time, they were all made old. This is what happened. I'm not just saying for here, sin. Go to the book of Mark, chapter 6, 23 to 56. You get it there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Not but not the least. Something still happened at the borders of Tyre and Sidon. There was a woman there. Her daughter had uh, problems with uh, some spirit that was tormenting her. And uh, she heard about Jesus and said, Why? Well, let me go to Jesus. I know he could do it. Then she came to Jesus and said, Jesus. I want to help at this particular period of time. And Jesus said, what could I do for you? And this woman said, please come to me. And Jesus made a pro, there's an adage there that we cannot give the food of dogs to, to, for kids to the dogs. Uh, but the woman quickly replied affirmatively that, oh, you know, she did not deserve this. And this because people were many to be attended to at that particular period of time. But this one was desperate to know that if Jesus can just say something about that adora, she will automatically be whole, be healed. And Jesus said, because of the faith, the other said, at that particular time, period of time, the daughter was here when the woman came back home. You know, the same thing happened to the centurion who said, I'm a man of command. Say a word, he was a commanding officer that if he commanded, Nobody will disobey the order in the military. And this is exactly what happened. Say, so Jesus, you are the commander of the spirits. Command that. Just say a word, and the past spirit will leave my son. This thing, Jesus said it and automatically. You know, Jesus con controlled everything. He has the power. He said, come unto me, you that are heaven lady. I will give you rest. Jesus is calling you today. Jesus is what is calling you today. To come to Israel because now this telecast is now 16 years old in this telecast studio. And Jesus has been calling each and every one of people who want it to be in the vesicle. And the miracles have been happening for those that we prayed for. So there will be a solution for prayer camp right now coming up. So I want you to give us a call through the media of information if you want to be a part of it. Solution for prayers camp. That is the name of the camp. So in which everybody will gather together. As God is using us through the telecast now, it's going to be in the physical. That is here around the vicinity then, where you are giving calls from any angle, they will be coming there one after the other to be arranging the camps. And God is ready. You are assigned us, they go ye and praise the gospel all over the world. I am, no, I am with you to the end of the world. It's with us. So if you are ready, your own is to join us as we are starting. So that God Almighty has prepared his own angels all around the globe for divine assignments will be touching you one after the other, you'll be getting your miracles in different dimensions, healing, blessing, anointing, everything free of charge. Praise the Lord. So do not be left out. Jesus is the healer. Let me tell you something. Where prayer is very important, pray, remember, Peter was praying they prayed for Peter. When Peter was locked up, the church prayed for Peter. And Peter was released miraculously by the angel of the Lord in the physical. Peter thought it was a dream. 
If you read different way, Peter thought it was a dream, but it was not a dream this time around because there was supernatural miracle that happened. It happened in different dimensions in the life of Apostle. Paul, Paul and Silas, the same thing happened. There was an earthquake in the, in the prison yard when they were locked up because of the gospel. The angel appeared and lost everything, lost their bandage. The same thing, lost Peter, and Peter was released in the physical. The same thing, Paul Apostle, in the physical. This is what prayer can do. Remember Daniel? He prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And when the day of calamity came upon Daniel, conspired to be consumed by the lions alive, power of God sealed up the lions' mouths. They could not harm, nobody will harm you in Jesus' name. You'll be released. Esther prayed three days, say if she perished, she perish. She, just, she didn't perish. Because the power of God came down during the prayer period. And uh, the power of anointing food the house of the palace. The king could not know what to do or not to listen to what? Esther. Because of what? Prayer. Don't pray with prayer. Esther prayed. Both Esther, Mordecai's uncle, and all the Jews, they were spared of uh, a religious execution in one day, which Aman planned against their life. Aman, who planned if he met Waterloo? Say, do not touch my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. That is what happened. Anybody who is on the side of the law, don't tamper with them. Leave them alone. You either pray for them than to persecute them. Pray the Lord. Ezekiah prayed. You know what prayer does? He was about to die. Right? He prayed again. 15 years was harder to see here. That is prayer. Ask in the book of Matthew 7, 7. Ask it will be given unto you. Seek, you will find. Knock, and the door will what? Will be opened to you. These are the areas where we have to apply biblical uh, uh, statements to back up, or biblical records to back up our, 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 our preaching. Because Jesus always quote Bibles in his early days. When Satan came, he the stone, say it is written. Do this, it is written. All are written Bible. You quote Bibles yourself. God help you and help everybody in Jesus' name. Amen. Anna, you remember in the Bible? Anna, history is just another history. Somebody was barren with rival wife, Pelina. Penana was having children, Anna had none. But the Holy Spirit directed Anna to Silo. That Silo is the Holy Spirit inspired them. Stay behind and pray in the, in the temple there. Anna was praying in the temple. Eli met Anna. The priest thought that what Anna was doing after the service. Anna explained, and Eli prayed over it. This is just a true episode. And the prayer was granted. Samuel came into a system. The only prophet. Somewhere where Ella Shidre could not be able to attain the seat of a priest, Samuel took over. This is what prayer can do. So don't like that prayer. Prayer is the key of life. Prayer is the key of life. Those biblical kings, they always request prayer. And this was what happened, what assisted them in their ruling. King Solomon, God said, ask of something. To rule, Solomon said, give me wisdom and knowledge. You can see, they ask for anything more. So all these people, the idea, prayer is very important in our life. Prayer, 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 pray daily, pray fervently. When you can be able to be eating regular food to sustain the physical body, prayer needs the spiritual food to sustain the spiritual assistance. So that is why we have to gather together. This time around, as people all over the world are gathering in their different areas, we have to gather here in the US so that you join the prayer group. Let us pray fervently together and see the power of God. See the miracle of God happening in our life. Show lessons to our problem in all areas. I pray today. Esther, the queen prayed. Uh, our request will granted. Your request will be granted in Jesus' name. Amen. I 
as Daniel prayed, he was removed from the green of life. You will not enter, even though enemy plan against you, you'll be out of the thing. And those who plan against you, if you fail to repent, they will meet their Waterloo. In Jesus' name, amen. Goliath made a mistake to have not met David for the combat. He was confronting David on the physical combat, and the David was coming in the spiritual divine power of God. And David said today, as I see you now, because you divide the army of the Lord, your head, your body will be a waste. And this is what happened, because David prayed, was praying on the battlefield, and this prayer aided him. How could you imagine a only one stone killed a, a warrior from the youth with training, with experience, a stone, just like that? Then he, when he was staggering, it was like a mistake, like a joke, he fell down. They thought it was just by mistake or so. He could not stand up anymore until David caught his head over the that's the mark that uh, he was really dead. Ah, imagine. Do not mock God. The omnipresent omniscience. He has the power to do this, to do that. Even the impossibles, he can do it. Because we don't know how he will do it. But he has the power to do it his own way, with the perfect way. So we got to come for prayer. You will see on the screen, you ask for the locations you want. We give you the locations. We join hands. We pray fervently. And miracles will be happening. It will be happening all around. Are you ready? Come over. It will be well with every one of you. It will be in Jesus' name. We thank God for everything. Give God the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. I know you have been blessed tremendously during this telecast. I pray that the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ will be upon each and every one of us. As I've said earlier during the prayer ministration, uh, do not hesitate to contact us through all the media of information right here for the location of the solution for prayer camp. So we are starting very soon. So call for prayers and call for the numbers and join us to come and embrace the miracle power of God. It's doing wonders in individuals' lives, and it's ready to do the same for you. Salvation is free. Come over, and you'll be free. The Bible said, whom son is set free, is free indeed. I'm not the one to set you free, but it's using us as a vessel for this great commission, which is his will, remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day.